Hi there and welcome to another video on faith and fitness. And today I want to talk a little bit about tenacity, the word tenacity and how it affects weight loss and your weight loss journey. So what does the word tenacity even mean? Now you probably have an idea in your head right away of what it means. But one of my mentors told me that you need to start looking up what the word actually means because sometimes we have what we think we know what it means. We have our perspective in our minds of what it means, but is that truly what it means? And I want to tell you a funny little story. My mentor loved the word chartreuse and for his almost his whole entire life, he was using this word believing that it meant purple, which was his favorite color. So years went by and someone challenged him about looking up words and it turns out that it actually means lime green. And so he was using this word wrong the whole time. So that's pretty funny that he was completely wrong in the color and how he used the word. <laughs> so anyway, I looked up what the word tenacity means and it means the quality of being able to grip something firmly. To grip something firmly the quality of being persistent and the quality of being determined. So are you gripping on? Are you holding on tight to your weight loss journey? It's important to have this mindset to be able to keep going, to be persistent. You have to hold on firmly, grip it tightly. Know in your mind that you have this target that you're going to reach. It's a goal that you are going to accomplish. So tenacity, it means following through every single day. It's like a race. It's like you're in a game and you want to you want to win the race. You are going to complete the journey. You're going to transform your life and you can do it. So do you have the tenacity to keep going in your weight loss journey? I want to give you a couple of reasons or a couple of uh, words to contemplate about tenacity in your weight loss journey. The first one is awareness. Are you aware of what you're putting into your body? Are you aware of what ingredients are in the drinks that you drink? You know, when you go to the store or you go to Starbucks, maybe it's another place that you go. Are you aware of the ingredients that go into the drink that you put into your body? Being aware is so important. There's other aspects of being aware. Like, are you aware of issues that are causing you to go to the junk food cupboard? Are you aware of your own issues like loneliness? Is it boredom? Is it eating your emotions when you're stressed out? Is it because you're just wandering around and you just pick at things and you don't even realize what you're putting in your mouth. Are you aware? That is one of the key things in your weight loss journey. So that's one thing I want you to contemplate. Another one is accepting. Acceptance. It's accepting what you can control and accepting what you can't control in your weight loss journey. So what you can't control is your body shape. You were created and designed by God because I invite God into the journey, but he gave you your specific body shape. Now, whether you are overweight and you're, or maybe you're now maintaining your weight, your actual body shape doesn't really change. You change sizes, but the shape stays the same. So you can't control your shape, but you can control your size. I hope you understand the difference. What else can you control? Well, you have the ability to make the right choices. You can control what you put in your mouth, what you drink. You can control who you hang out with, whether they're sabotaging your goal or not. So those are some things that you can control. But again, some things you can't control, like you can't control the number on the scale. It's going to go down when you're eating healthy and, and portion controlling, but you can't actually control that. You can't manipulate it. You can just see it go down over time. 
You can't say I'm going to lose 10 pounds by tomorrow and manipulate that number to go down. So that's accepting what you can control and accepting what you cannot control. So there's awareness and acceptance. And then there's alteration. Now, alteration means change. You can change your lifestyle. You can change your choices. You can change the direction that you're going. If you decide that you're going this way and you want to make a turn and you do a 180, that's your decision. You can alter your path. So I hope this helps you. Awareness, acceptance, and alteration. You can do it. So if you are looking to lose weight, because I know that's why you're listening, you are in this Christian weight loss journey, I really encourage you to check out my program. Grab my top 10 tips for losing weight and look into my 10 day way down challenge because it's amazing. You will become more aware. You will accept what you can change and what you can't change. And you will alter your lifestyle. And with all those three things, you are gonna achieve the success you're looking for. You can do it, I believe in you. I always say to my, the women in my private Facebook group that you are a woman chosen for greatness and I believe in you. So I do believe in you and I do believe that inviting God into your weight loss journey is gonna get you to see the results that you're looking for. So have a blessed day and if you haven't already, please click the button and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you don't wanna miss any upcoming videos. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.